Change is on everyone's mind, and it has been a very hot topic for a lot of years. I mean, you've heard it. Everybody's heard it. So why does change, why does change continue to be such a challenge for organizations today? Well, there's two pieces of that. First off, uh, change historically has been one of the most requested to topics for speakers mm -hmm. and it's presenters true. for true. the last 20, 30 years. And when you think about how good we are, I mean, we've heard how many books, how many speeches, how many articles, our cheese has been moved, our iceberg has melted. Um, our elephant's dancing. Our elephant's dancing, all those. <laughs> and, and here's the statistic that I think makes this important. Uh, about 20 years ago, John Cotter wrote that 70% of all change efforts fail to achieve their desired result. 70%? Yeah, 70%. Within organizations? Within organizations, fail to achieve oh. their 100% of their desired result. Now, 20 years later, with all that effort on change, the statistics still are about 70%, depending on which study you read, it's 50 to 80. So let's go back to still right around 70%, still fail to achieve their desired result. And that's because we think that change is something to be managed. Change doesn't fail because of bad management. Change fails because of bad leadership. And, and then the second piece of that is, the world is changing faster than it's ever changed. And it's going to, only going to continue to speed up. I mean, when you think about it, we now live, Betty, in a world where a 90-second story on the evening news is called an in-depth analysis. The world is moving so much faster, and with all the technology changes that are coming down the road, uh, it truly is going to be uh, very soon, if you can think it, we can do it. Wow.